Okay, hey, welcome everybody to my stream. It's Monday. I'm wearing this hat because my hair is greasy. And we're gonna finish Forgotten City. I was going to end a little bit early today just because I have some stuff to do I wanna get done. I do wanna tell you that we, um, I will be not having Wednesday and Friday streams. Tomorrow night we're doing the Geeks Talk on the, on the Discord. It's two days for Tuesdays. And me and my brother are gonna be just joshing around. I don't even know what that verb is. Is Josh a verb? We're just going to be talking tomorrow night. Uh, so if you're a Geeks member, that's you hold 30 Geeks coins and you connect it to the Discord, you get a whole section of, you know, I do do some um, exclusive social media on there and um, we do the weekly chat, which is mostly, you know, really fun. We'll be doing a book club next week, the book club next week, and then this week is my brother. So that'll be really, really fun. We do a creativity hour. You do, I do a live felicitations, which... I will, I will tell you in the new year, I'm going to probably do only felicitations on that on that day because I'm putting a lot more work into Undressing the Wizard to build that. And so I just kind of want to emphasize one podcast or the other. But I will be doing the live felicitation podcast next week or next month. It'll be super fun. And we're going to be finishing Forgotten City. So let me start it up. Start it up. Start it up. What, Fanny? Is, wait, wait, wait. A, a Josh? Wait, 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 I never knew that word was bad in the UK. It means hacker? Really? Josh? Josh is a thing? I wish you happy holidays and a best for you. Bye, Sasakuch. Thank you for being here. Did Felicia ever beat Cyberpunk? I did, Tobbs. I did. All right, let's get this game going on. So I believe that we were like halfway through... Josh means to joke around. I'm not sorry for that joke. <laughs> oh, oh, the one that cut, oh, the one that got Hassan banned is a bad word. Yeah, it's not really that bad a word in the US, but I think Fanny means vagina in the UK. We're free, Malolius just released this. We have never set foot in the villa again. Okay, so where were we? I have no idea. Okay, I think I restarted the day, and now I'm trying to get Galerius. I'm trying to get Galerius. We're trying to do the voting ending, aren't we? Twitch will get you. Yeah, well, I don't want to... Vagina is not a bad word. It's an excellent word. Do you know why? Vaginas are awesome. Okay. Vaginas are extremely intelligent. Do you know how big they get to push a baby out? And then they're small again. It's a brilliant muscle. I need to bribe the seller to vote your way. Oh yeah, that's what I need, thank you. I've decided to withdraw from the election. Yes. Are you under duress, sir? Okay, good, so Galerius is doing all the, um, all the errands that I need him to do. So he's saved. I have a friend named Fanny. Oh. Are they in the UK? I have a problem with making clinical terminology taboo. Yeah, I mean, it is vagina. My kid, when she went to preschool, they used, um, Galerius, can I talk to you now? No, Galerius is not finished. We're still finishing this. Let's see, is that Galerius? Who's this? Uh-oh, Domitius just told, hey, what's up? Opius, welcome. You're free. Shalom, friend. What's up? All right, friend. Thanks for the chat. Wait, wait, wait. I need to talk to you about who you're going to um, vote for. Shalom. It is very important. Do you know what I read, Galerius. actually? He's okay. Galerius, okay. All right, friend. So we've got everybody but the seller, and I'm going to... We got everybody but that guy I need to bribe, right? Yeah. Actually, I'd, uh, I'd like to nominate myself, if that's all right. Am I double streaming? I am on that's fire. Thank right. you. Citizens, the election will proceed. Okay, great. Yes! Sorry again, friend. I went and did as you asked, and it worked. I'm not drinking vagina tea, but thank you for asking. You just arrived here, and you already know everyone and exactly what's about to happen to them. We've already had this discussion. Um, 
Uh, I'm busy. Oh, uh, of course. Yeah, I'm, I'm busy. Okay, we'll talk about it later, buddy. All right, so we've got everybody voting, I think. Mm, Hi, Lucretia. Just feeling all right. I'm feeling all right, That's... but I'll be going because you have nothing for me. Thank you for saving Ulia's life. Well, I did. Hi, Fabia. So now I need to save it, and then I need to get... I need to bribe this guy, right? Oh, where's this guy? Hey, Dick. Hey, Dick face. Here he is. Now, how do I bribe him? Do I have the money? Let's see. Oh, we have so much money. Okay, great. So now we can bribe him. Salve. I, okay, I did have a C-section, so my vagina never opened for... Hello there, friend. May I say, that is a, a glorious bow you're carrying. Do you mind oh, if I ask where you acquired it? Um, you'd never believe well, me if I told you. Well, I'll take your word for it. But perhaps you'd be interested in selling it to me. I mm. mean, it's not as if you have any use for it down here. Okay, you have terrible hair. It's not for sale. Oh, well, let me know if you change your mind. For now, can I help you with something? Um, I'd like to know who you're going to vote for. I suppose. Stability is always good for business. Okay, no, uh, I'd like you to vote yeah. for Galerius. And what's he going to do for me? He's nothing. Would a gift change your mind? Certainly. For a few thousand denarii. Okay, I tr I had a few thousand. Here's three thousand. Pleasure doing business. Can I help you with anything else? Okay. Um, I'll be Very going well. now. Another time. Okay, I think I got it, y'all. I think I got everything. I got, I got everything, y'all. So now we can do a vote and have this ending, and then we'll do the other ending. Then we'll be done, and then we'll do something else. Hey, cutie. Ah, a new face. I hear... Uh, who are you going to vote for? Definitely. Okay, good. He put an end to the notes and graffiti I've been receiving. Is anybody watching Chocolate School? Because this guy reminds me of the French guy because his hair is so precisely hairsprayed. It's my favorite, favorite uh, show right now. It's nice. on Netflix. Chocolate School. Okay, so I think we could start the... Um, I believe we could just start the... Okay, well, let's do it. Let's start the... I am feeling a little better. I'm still a little bit. I'm still a little bit sick, but thank you for asking. Um, I'd like to start the election. No, let's do it now. Let's do it now. Let's do it. I just uh, holding it early may prevent conflict between the votes. Yes, I have overheard some rather unpleasant arguments. School of Chocolate is a really fun show. Thank you, Clusmo. Yeah. We have two more episodes tonight. Ryan's addicted. Right away. Okay, let's do it. it is time. Okay, let's go. Uh, you? I think I bought all the votes, y'all. This is the way democracy works. You know what I was saying, Lace? Before? Okay, so... And what we're gonna do after that is get this guy out of jail. And then he has the cistern, and then we're gonna go up to the cistern. Oh, he has the last plaque! So we basically could do Cistern Escape or Plaque. We got the Gladiator guy. Remember, um, we gave him Willow Bark for his arthritis and he stopped being a homophobic um, a-hole. <sighs> okay, let's do this. I'm excited, y'all. Let's save it. Save number 570. Look at Galerius came running in like it's a fundraiser. Hey, y'all! Hey! What's up? Also, no women are voting, which is bullshit. Alright, let's do it. I like at least she's here, but the fact that none of the women can vote is just... Alright, let's do this. I guess Quintus is not voting. Hey, you, who you vote for? Who you voting for? Who you voting for? You? You? Yo? Okay, good. Let's do this. Citizens, we have a quarate body of voters gathered here to elect the city's magistrate. We got this. The candidates are Sextus Sentius Imperiosus. This guy who has his daughter tied up in the basement, but we don't know that. Marcus Maliolus Gurgis withdrew his Gurgis. Earlier today, as agreed, 
We shall dispense with ballots and candidates will abstain from voting. Okay, great. Let's make this quick. As I say your name, call your vote. I'll start with Everybody's you, Everybody's in awe of my flashlight. Sentius, of course. Shut up. Galerius. He saved the life of my dear friend Fabia. That's right. Galerius. Virgil. The man who put a stop to the threats I've been receiving. Yeah. Galerius. Yeah, let's really Galerius, the man who saved my life. That's it. The man who treated my rheumatism. I got all of them. Galerius. Citizens, you have made your All but one, babies. Your new magistrate is Gallus Galerius Helva. Yes. What? It has been decided. Magistrate Galerius, would you like to make a brief address? Uh, um, I just want to say, this isn't something I ever wanted. Now that you put your trust in me, I'm going to do everything I can not to let you down. Okay. I'll need some time to put together a list of the changes I want to make around here. Because I had no platform. I promise you, there will be changes. My first order is that Dooley is to be freed. Horatius, release him from his cell immediately. Please. Wait, do I need to say please? You should say please, no. yeah. That's it. You can all get on with your day. Nothing else to see here. Move along. Wow, that was the worst speech ever, Galerius, but it's okay, man. Okay. Save it. We never have to do that again. Okay. Let's go get him out, and then we're gonna get the plate. Let's do it. Whoa, he's just out of here. He's like, yeah! Yeah, run in! Your girlfriend's down in the basement! Never Thanks for voting. Like that that fire oh my! I've never I seen a land like Galerius that. Won. You deserved it. Okay, great. Let's do this. Fortune smiles on you today, Julius. Magistrate Galerius here has ordered your release. You're All right. To let me out of here. I'm sorry it took so long, my friend. And it wouldn't have happened. Six hundred sixty-six viewers. Newcomer, so be sure to offer your thanks when you can. I will. I will. Thank you, Galerius. It's creepy. I'm gonna put some lipstick on. I'm so happy. Okay. I'd love to stay and chat, but I've got a lot of work ahead of me. Yeah, yeah. Why don't you go to the baths? Then tell Georges I said you could have some new clothes. Oh, I just tell I people to things. Go Everybody gets free rest. food. Free food and free clothes. Soon, Dooley. Okay, Dooley, open the door. Uh, Ooh. Hello. Hi. I'm Dooley. Magistrate. Thank Galerius you, Crazy Eye Carl. I should thank the newcomer. Are you the newcomer? Okay, you're a slow talker, buddy. Yeah, that's me. Oh. It is you, then. Okay. You. You're a... All right, great. You're welcome. You I can need... have my shiny plaque if you want. Okay, great. you can help me find my treasure. I could do both my those things, yeah. Hannibal used to look after me. And he said he always would. But then he died. He but does need some moisturizer. That, and a toupee. Me, if anything ever happened to him... Just for fun. I had to find something very precious. Okay. What was it? He gave it? me a key to the sisters Ooh. and told me to keep it safe. He said there's something Malarkey. very precious way up high. Oh. Please help me find it. Please. Okay. I had to keep it a secret until I found something. All right, I'll oh, help thank you. you. All right, thank you, Dooley. The entry must be somewhere. Okay, is below the Great Temple. Below the Great Temple. Okay. Hope you find it. Unlock the upper cisterns. cisterns. Way up high. Oh, look, maybe it is okay, he's a kleptomaniac. It's cool. Alright, whoa, look at this! Okay, we have the last treasure! Okay, so what are we doing here? Should we go to the cistern? Should we go to the cistern or do we put. I think. Do we do the plaque thing or do we do the cistern thing? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Many what just happened? For the sins of the one. Oh no, Dooley stole something! Oh no! Dooley stole something! Oh no! It was Dooley. Oh no! Classic Dooley. This is horrible. 
He needed to stay in jail. Okay. Well, it's okay. We, uh, we got the key and we got the plaque. We're all good. Okay. Oy, oy, oy. Okay. Um, okay, what I can do now... What a jerk. You deserve to die. Okay. Okay, well... Hey, go do all these Stop. things I told you to. Um... Okay, I'm gonna have him do all of the... I'm gonna have him do all the stuff so we can do the plaque thing and the cistern thing. Oh, sounds... Okay, you're gonna do this. You're gonna do this. Right. You're gonna do this. You're gonna do this. That's it. Okay. I'm not gonna tell you anything. Okay, buddy? And then I'm going to go... We're gonna zip line. Wow, I can't believe... Can you do stop Dooley from stealing? I don't think so. He literally comes out. But we got what we needed from him. We got the key. We got the key, so... Huh. All right, um... Okay. We could try to do the Sentius thing. I wonder what that would do. Julie will, um... Break the Ghoulin Roll as soon as he's freed. Um... God, we could do so much! Okay, uh... Hmm. Okay, what should we do? We should, you know what, there's so many endings. Let's go to... Um. Oh, interesting. Okay, so... Unlock that upper cistern, that's what I want to do. Okay, so let's go... Okay, let's save it. And let's go try the Sentius thing. Just for fun. On your best behavior, I trust. Okay, shut it. Oh, interesting. Where's Sentius? He's upstairs, right? I just want to see it. I just want to see it. What happens? We can always load it. Okay. We're fine. Oh, interesting. Okay. Um. Okay. Um. I think I know who it is. It's uh, Dully. Why do you say? He broke the rule. I assume we did. Luto's name? Would you do? Okay. Well, he had something the man I wanted. Has no self-discipline, poor comprehension of what is going on around him, and okay. is an incorrigible rule breaker. Okay. He's been trying to enlist help with this for months. If you don't help him, then he's not a threat. Okay. It looks like you'll have to continue your investigation. Now, was there anything else you wanted okay. to ask? Okay. Uh, let's see. Do you know? What do you think? Uh, who's going to break the what golden rule? Was there another person I could, um... Well, if... Okay. I... Let's see. I think I know who it is. It's... Sentia, Rufius, Virgil, Ulpius, Virgil. I don't think I need to tell... Well, I don't think this does anything. Why then okay. did you say it looks like... Alright. Thank you. Okay, so Dooley did it as soon as I had him released, but that's okay. Now we're gonna go, let's do the cistern thing. We need to go to the cistern. Where is the upper cistern? It's under the great temple, they said, right? Um, they're supposed to be Roman and... Um, hmm, the cistern under the great temple. So don't I don't know where to... a word they tell you. Oh, okay. Just kind of grim. Does anybody know how to get to the cistern? Um hmm. Where is the cistern? I was let's see. Unlock the upper cistern. Okay. Oh. I put it on the eyeball on it. So what are we gonna do here? Behind the temple? Yeah, it's gonna be... So we're gonna do... Let's do the cistern thing. Save number 800. There's gotta be a way to get in here because it said behind the great temple. 
it up here? Well, let's see. After freeing Dooley, you should have the key in your inventory. I got that. Good. To get to the system for the portal, look to your right and follow the path. Hmm. Really? All the way up. Oh, look at this. What's this over here? Tower with a lot of steps in it. This is weird. I don't think I've ever done this. There's a door near here, says Paliar. Yeah, okay. Gotta be a door. It's gotta be near here, right? Hmm. I mean, we could do the plaque thing now. We're already up here. It's on the other side? Okay. Let's see. Oh, I think I remember that. Is it over? I think I was like, oh, there's gotta be something over here. It's over here, right? I think there was a door here that we couldn't get in. Look at this. It's either over here or... No, no, it's down here. This is it. This is it. I remember going down here and I couldn't get in somewhere. There, it's it. Save number 8,000. Oh, gosh. I did it! What's this bullshit? What? Wait a minute. Lead resolved. Heart of gold. What? Oh, okay. So we were just getting to Scintilla in a different way. We've been here already. Well, let's try... Hmm. Well, this is not good. Let's see what's going on here. Yeah, I'm poopy. Nobody sent me. Uh, if I let you go, everyone else is going to die. What? Um. We have to get the key from Sentius. Okay. I hate you. Okay, well, she's really not happy about me. I mean, we could try. We don't have the key from Sentius. I'll let you go. Let's go. Thank you. Let's just screw everybody else. He's here. You distract him. Stay right here and keep him talking while I look for something I can use. Okay. All right, we're just gonna keep him talking. Why don't we try this? Oh, hey, what's up? Hey, Dick. Hey. What did you do with Sentinel? Well. Where is she? Hmm. As if you're human garbage. Did you know that? So that is how it's going to be. Oh well, this doesn't change anything for me. What it's is your a shame, deal? Really? If you'd just done what you were supposed to. You'd have been looping through time forever until you gave up and killed yourself. Just like that soft-hearted pleb, Al. Pleb. You remember Al? Don't call me Al! Now, surely you didn't think you were the only one here who remembered everything. You see, my connection to the portal somehow preserves my memories from one loop to the next. Whether that was Proserpina's intention or a happy accident. Oh never boy, this guy. But I'm surprised you hadn't noticed. Here I was thinking you're a little bit sharper than Al was. Or perhaps you're just more willing to break the rules. Oof, He's this a guy. Stick fellow, never once compromised on his principles. And because of that fatal flaw, he relived this day many thousands of times before we finally had this conversation. What? I watched him come through the portal each time, always a little older, a little more disheveled. Ew, this guy's a dick. Haunted. And when he finally saw the futility of it all, as you're about to, it broke him. He drank a jug of wine, tied a noose around his neck. Dark. And took his own life, just before he was shot with a golden arrow. The next time I awoke, you showed up. But you, you've caught up to where he was. So I quickly. mean, I'm better than Al, I'd that's true. I'd have preferred if you'd given me more time to enjoy the trappings of my success. 
How many extra days did you give me? Just the six? Six Not days? A lot compared with Al, but I've seized every day, nonetheless. Thousands of saves. There's no escape for you except the path that Al took. The path he wrote about on his tablet. What was it? This guy. Oh, Can yes. I sh I'm kind of a pro gamer, Sentius. Then find out what awaits you beyond that portal. Oh. So, you've discovered my secret. So what? What are you going to do about it? Oh, <gasps> uh, you knew there was a way out and even locked up your own daughter to Why? keep it a secret? Why? Isn't it obvious? Because I have grown attached to all this. My title, my beautiful This villa, guy. The sun on my face. The music of birds chirping. And as long as this day keeps repeating itself, I get to enjoy it all. Over and over again. For it It's kind of awful, actually. I'd hate that. Don't you see? Hey, go cheer. I have found a way to prolong my life indefinitely. To cheat death. What are you doing with it, though? In effect, as immortal as the gods. Oh, this guy. Can you honestly say you would not wish the same for yourself? Yeah, I could. Um... Let's see you cheat your way out of this, buddy. Do you really think you can take on a Decurion with that flimsy little bow? Yeah, I can. Who? Centilla? Where is she? I'm right here, father. Oh, whoa! How did... How did she do that? I think that broke the golden roof, Centilla. When many shall suffer I have his for the key. sins of the one. The yeah, let's Come go! On. We have to go. Hey, what's happening to you? That light, it, it's so bright. Oh no! I created a time paradox! Thought I was in here alone. I'm Al. Al Worth? I came here to find you. Well, here I am. I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. Uh, I hope you knew who I am. You should ask. I was just reading an old tablet I found here. Well, trying. My Latin is kind of rusty. So is mine. The last entry mentioned someone with the same name. It described an event about 2,000 years ago. Someone with your name appeared in the city out of the shadows. Oh no! Freed an imprisoned woman named Santilla, who then murdered her captor, breaking some kind of ancient law. Okay. It said the attack caused golden statues to come alive, hunting down everyone in the city and turning them into gold. Yeah. Apparently, the only person to survive was Santilla, while the stranger disappeared in a flash of light. Oh no. Actually, that was me. Uh, what? You're saying you were here 2,000 years ago. Yeah. I... I found your corpse hanging from a noose, man. Uh... I still have the suicide note. It's right here. Um, let me see that. Look at that. God, why it's an owl emoji. So familiar? Yeah, it's, it's you, man. spent a lifetime in this place going around and around in circles. Uh-huh. This... It was written by a different version of you. I changed the past and your fate. It's so cool. I like your haircut. It's very, um, uh, kind of 2000s British boy band. I... Uh, I'm not following. I don't know. I just I helped him silly kill the man who opened the time portal and drew you back at time, preventing it from happening. So you're it's, saying, you know, because a man from two thousand years ago is dead, he never created a time portal, so I never went through it, and yeah. that's why I don't remember any of yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are getting I, it. Yeah. Guess you saved my life then, as well as having that poor woman. It's a lot to say. Anyway, how do we get out of here? Maybe we can escape through the same aqueduct Santilla used, if we can find it. It's right there. Yeah. All right, let's try it. Let's get out of here, Al. Come on. Let's get out of here, Al. We did it! You got this ending before? I don't think we did, y'all. Did we? Did I get this ending before? I'm gonna pause here for a moment and make sure nobody else is ever lured into this temple. Okay, good for you. Fine. You go on ahead. And I'll be there soon. Bye, Al. Hey, bye, sexy. Like, that's gonna prevent anybody from going in an ancient ruin. Like, man, not one board. If I was a, a adventurous French Z Gen Zer, that would be like an Im invitation to TikTok. Invitation, I say. 
Al remembered us. Yes, that's right. This is it. You're back. But pull your wig back. You're alone. Does that mean you didn't find Al? I found Al. Okay. He'll be oh, here in a minute. What a relief. Thank you so much. Charon. I'm to think you'd both become trapped in there. No. Why don't you tell me what you discovered while we wait? Uh, I discovered your real name is Charon, or was it Curti? Ah, I see. I thought you might. Ah! Well, now you know. I suppose you have questions. Mm-hmm. You can just call me Charon if you like. Charon. Oh, it's I'm not Charon. Thanks. Honest with you when we first <laughs> I do not enjoy deceiving people. Believe me, I do not. But I have learned from 5,000 years of experience that most people find comfort in familiarity in gradual change and coming to see the truth in their own time yeah you might want to do some contact stuff that what truth died, is it of course yes you were dead when i brought you here damn it my role as the servant of the god of the underworld has always been to assist the chosen oh, to cross the threshold from the land of the living damn it to the land of the dead uh how did i die um, was it drowning usually when people do not remember how they I mean, died. I like sentience after death. That's cool. They suffered a terrible trauma. Most souls would rather not remember. Ask yourself honestly. Do you really want to know? Yeah, I want to know. I do. As you wish. You were murdered. You were exploring an old tomb when you discovered a cache of forgotten relics, including two silver coins of ancient origin. Unfortunately, as you emerged into daylight, you were set upon by two thieves. Who wanted two the coins? The hiker saw the scuffle break out and left to your aid, trying to help you recover your bounty. Was it you Al? You fought bravely, but your assailants were armed, and you were not. There was nothing you or your ally could have done. Now I'm bummed. He died instantly at the scene. And you followed a few hours later. Oh, I bled out? That That's awful. That man's name was Al Wurf. Oh, no! You were each in possession of a sacred coin called Karen's Opal by some. And so it was my duty to bring you here. Perhaps you have heard the tales of the Greeks and Romans bearing their dead with a coin in their mouths. I have, actually, yeah. To pay the ferryman for passage across the river. Basically, it was like well, an IOU? Those stories contained a seed of truth. Okay, this dragonfly is really distracting me. Get out of here, man! A long time ago, my master created a thousand silver coins and had me distribute them across the world. My orders were simple. Whenever a person died in possession of a coin, I was to locate them and ferry them here. What? That is a question you would have to ask him. If that were still possible, in light of the path you have chosen. W was it a good I path? Just his servant, doing his bidding. So I'm a good guy? Only what? now, I find myself bereft of purpose. Oh. You see, the coins on you and Al were the last of the thousand in existence. Oh, well, you know, there we is can make a trio. To ferry here. Nobody to keep you company. After 5,000 years, the underworld has finally run its course. Going out of business and stuff? Ooh, I can see you return no us? point in keeping you here. But I have to ask one thing. That you keep this to yourself. Look! Here comes Al now! Yeah! Oh, it's so good to see you. You were gone so long I thought I'd never see you again. Kinda lost track of time in there. You wouldn't believe what we found. The ruins of a long forgotten okay, city. Al, you can you could do a three quarter shot. Describing an event two thousand wow, years ago. Very generous. Supposedly, the city was destroyed when a woman here. murdered a tyrant with the help of, well, my new friend here. I know how crazy that sounds. Maybe not that crazy. That woman. I don't suppose her name was Centilla. How could you? What? She left a tablet of her own. I stumbled across it while I was waiting here. There's just ruins everywhere I around think here. I she meant for you to read it. Oh, me? Here, take a look. Centilla, thanks for having, thanks for being selfish and helping me murder everybody. Or if you'll ever read this, 
but I want you to know that I will never forget you or what you did for me. It pains me that so many dear friends were not so fortunate. Opus, Cynthia, Lucretia, Horatius, Galerius, or Dooley. Dooley deserved to die. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Please understand. Their blood is on my hands, not yours. I will live with the consequences of my actions. But I'll actually live, All which is nice. Do is move forward, trying to show others the same compassion you showed me. Except for my friends that I condemned to death. And my love, and my lover. All right, what'd she do? Did she do anything good with her life? lot to her. I'd love to hear your story, but first, you two look exhausted. Why don't you hop in my boat and rest while I ferry you back to civilization? Oh! Sounds good to me. And you? All right, let's go. The one that got away! Ending two of four! All right, let's try the next one. We got two more. So we got... Okay, let's try another one, y'all. Now I'm excited. So we need to do the four plaques. You guys are awesome. Writer, director, designer, and producer, Nick Pierce. Nice headshot, man. Okay. All of you are cool. All right, let's try this. Four plaque is number four. Okay. Well, we still have to... We still have to... Okay, so now we're going to tell... Let's do getting everybody out, and then we'll do the plaque last. Because that one seems like the one I could definitely screw up. Oh, okay. Uh-oh. Okay. Okay. Okay, we did that. But we need to get... How do I get out of here? Just let me out. I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna take Scintilla this time. So this is the one where I'm going to do the plaques. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I need to load the game to like... Um... I need to load the game... Let's see what this one does. Hey, Kruplik, yeah. I did in interview Henry Cavill. It was great. I want to I wanna go back to the when I first got out, and then I'll tell him to get everybody in the cistern. Maybe it is treasure. I can see it for myself. Okay, this is... No, Dooley, d stop it! And it's just lying out here. Oh, no. Okay, this is fine. Dooley, you dummy! Don't do it! Put your hand... No! Dooley! Dooley! Nope! The many shall suffer okay. for the sins of the one. Okay. It's fine. This is fine. Save yourselves! Except you can't! Hey, good job, Galerius! Yeah, idiot! Okay, so I have the plaque. I have the cistern key, so we're totally cool. We're getting to the portal. And then let's do the Galerius ending. Oops, sorry. Save. Die. Thank you. <laughs> Out of my way, die. Hey, the secure server, welcome. The pun crowd is very strong today. You're totally right, Soylent. And also, happy belated birthday. Okay, so for this one, we're gonna tell Galerius to gather everyone in the upper cistern, and we're gonna do this thing. Okay. Salve, friend. No. Okay. The golden rule is going to be broken. I need to quietly get everyone except Sentius ready to run to the upper cistern when the ground starts to rumble. What? That's a big ask. But something tells me. All right. I doubt I'll be able to get. A handful of people. Okay. Well, listen. Let's see who we can get. All right. So now I'm going to go confront. Hey, you, get to the upper sister. Sisyphus, attack or pursue the stone, just as the ocean. All right. Uh, bye. The blood. Okay, I just have no idea what that means. Okay. Bye. Livia, I don't really care about saving you. Your hair is terrible. You need some hot oil treatments. Okay, Galerius. Get everybody. 
ready, okay? Hey, Nikon. Keep an eye out for Centella, would you? What is it, citizen? Uh, can you go? No, right. okay. I gotta leave this to Galerius, I guess. Let's see who we could save. Because you're a baby. I will try to help you. I don't need your help anymore, Whispery. Whispery. So I guess I'm going to... Should I give it some time? No whiskey today. No, the goat... I don't drink whiskey on stage. I don't drink whiskey. Okay, so do you... Do I need to give him some time, or... Hmm, King Kiryu, welcome. What, do I, what should I do here? I'm gonna save it. Save 5 million of 75. Okay, and then I'm going to confront this guy. So, now I'm going to confront him about Scintilla. We're finally alone. I assume... We have? I oh, yeah, you liar. Is that okay. Uh, we've had this conversation before. I broke it. broke it. I was trying to save some of lives. Okay. Um, I want to talk to you about some questions I have. Okay. Um, let's go. Of course. Uh, I think I know who it is. It's. How do I talk to him about? Mm... Why then did you say it uh, looks like? What? Uh... I would love to do something with Quip Boga, Kip Boga again. I'm just trying to figure out. You loaded prior to discovering Scintilla? Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay. I'll be okay, I've got to discover Scintilla again? Alright. So I've got to go, just, I got to go get Scintilla again? Is that what you're saying? Okay. Ugh, mm. This place has become a thoroughfare. I thought I discovered Scintilla before. Okay. All Let's weapons are to be tossed into the chasm. Okay. Well, you're, I'm not doing what you're telling me hey. to. Okay. You're not thinking about going into the okay. cistern, are you? Okay. Okay. Why should I no. go there? Okay. Good. Okay, I guess I'll go I'll go the long way. I thought I had a save after I saved her. I yeah. Springtime. I thought I had but 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 we're we're far, um Yeah, it's weird. I don't have the Okay, that's very weird that I have the option to have everyone gather, and yet I can't talk about Scintilla right now. That's very strange. I guess you don't know that he's playing you since you finished the game. But I did have the option to tell Galerius to go to the Upper Cistern. That's a very strange thing. Alright, well, I could do this. Okay, well, I'm just gonna go talk to Scintilla. Um, the door's not opening. Okay. Since you finished the game and you did that ending, I had to reload a previous. Okay. What's wrong here? Okay, let me go through. Let me go through! It's not letting me through, y'all. The door is bugged. Okay. It's bugged! Why won't the door let me open? Okay. 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 Hey. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Hey. I'm poopy, but nobody sent me. I know we've had the conversation before. I told Galeris to lead everyone here when the Golden Rules broke so they could escape too. How did you know? 
Oh, okay, okay, great. Did you hear that? So we can't go and confront him before here. Through the door behind me. Here we go again. Okay. Stay right here and keep him talking while I look for something. Okay, this is good. Okay, so she's gonna burn him to death. This is cool. Okay, and then we're gonna fast forward to this conversation. What do you do with Centilla? Okay. Where, Where is, is she? she? Okay. Um, you're human so garbage. Okay. Go. What? Okay. Ba 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 ba. I did everything. You discovered my secret. So what? What are you going <laughs> to do about it? Centilla with the good haircut. Isn't it obvious? Okay, you're a dick. I have found a way it's to fine. prolong my hey, look life indefinitely. To cheat death. I have become okay. as immortal Monologue, monologue, monologue! Heard it already. Can you honestly say you would not wish the same for yourself? Abby D. Y. He's gonna be on fire. Okay. Of course. But by okay. reliving the same day over and over again forever, It's very boring, dude. I, I would be very bored. Continue living long after your I mean, you could learn a language pretty easily. Do you re Who? Centilla? Yeah. Where is she? I'm right here, father. Ah! How did she do that? That is a very low-quality polyester. That cloak, you know what I'm saying? The many shall suffer I have for the sins I of the one. The Okay, let's see who's coming through. To go, the other should be right behind us. Who do we who do we save? What's happening to you? That light, it it's so bright. Oh, I created the time paradox. What what? Okay. So we're just doing a variation on the last one, but I had to do it, right? I had to do it. See who we could save. Okay. You can talk to Al. He coats himself in olive oil like a gladiator. Uh, well, oh, worse, I came to find you. I'm really? poopy. Just, uh, okay. Uh, okay. No, I have the coot I know. Okay, here. Uh, I was just, uh, sir, da, 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 da. Now you're getting it. Okay. And I'm talking. How do we get out of here? Come on, let's get out of here. Right here, this aqueduct. Nobody was exploring the aqueducts. This is not how time paradoxes work. Listen, if you're an expert in time paradoxes, I love you. I appreciate who you are. I'm gonna pause here for a moment and make sure nobody else is ever lured into this. Thank you. Good yeah. idea, man. You're such a little upstanding Al Wars, my future husband. Listen, we gotta hook up, right? At least hook up. Maybe a three-way with Karen? It's my ride char on. Car on Karen. Hey, Karen! Sup! Get that boat in the water! You're back! Yeah, uh, I found uh, him. He'll be in here in a moment. Um... Real yeah, yeah, I did. Friend here. Maybe oh! Maybe not that crazy. That woman. I don't suppose her name was... Centella? She didn't reveal herself! How could you... What? So we don't... I don't actually know that I died. I stumbled across it while I was waiting here. I think she meant for here. Oh, okay, here it is! I don't know what became of you, or if you'll ever read this, but Octavia, Lucretia, Horatius, Equitia, and I will never forget you, or what you did for us. It pains us that so many of our dear friends were not so fortunate, including Olpius and Galerius. Wait, Olpius and Galerius? Tried to rescue Dooley. Oh God, it was Dooley! But there is no point dwelling on what might have been. The two, my two favorites died to say Dooley? Gift you've given us. And try to show others the same compassion you showed us. We promise you that saving our lives was not for nothing. Centilla et al. Okay, I'm sorry. Octavia, Lucretia, Horatius. That's not even my favorites. Those are my least Sounds favorite like people. You meant a lot to her. I'd love to hear your story, but first. You two look ex- Sounds good. And you? All right, Char- Karen. We got- Okay, we got ending three! All right, all right. Okay, so that's the third different area. Okay, I know those- those dragonflies are horrible. All right, so last one! Last one! Last one! 
Does the great one accept game suggestions? Are you talking about me as this small? Yes, I'll suggest. I'll take one. Although I do have so many games. We still haven't finished Guardians of the Galaxy, y'all. That was underwhelming. Only because I skipped through most of it, Vaughn. It was it was pretty much the same ending, except we did save a couple people, more people. The last ending has to be the plaques. So let's go do that one. And then we will, um... All right. Let's do it. Let's do it, y'all. Loquacious et al. Oh, et al. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> Okay, you're awesome, but I'm not doing this ending right now, okay? You're real great. Nice to meet you. Your dad sucks. I totally get it. You didn't you didn't rescue your sister. She was a big old bee, so I totally So this is our last ending. I'm pretty excited about it. Thank you everybody for There's a lot of credits in this game. Well, the real Jerome, we've actually been playing for hours and hours and hours, and we've just culminated to the point where Oh my god, I think I just bugged out. Okay. Um, we've gotten to the point where we have actually solved all the problems. And so we're just doing the ending. So the first ending was me killing Sentius. That basically I got locked in a time loop or something. The second one was... Um, the second one was just rescuing Scintilla, and this one we just did. Salve, friend. Oh, Welcome. no. Okay. Um, I'm feeling a bit on edge. Okay. I'll be going now. Okay. This is how it ends. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, gosh. No. No, 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 Can you talk to Scintilla and not release her and confront it? I don't think that's an option. That's the okay, I'm this guy. I forgot. All right. It's fine. Uh, is this what Scintilla would want well, if you never believe me? If She's downstairs. No, I am out. Wherever okay. you are, Centilla, my love. I'm sorry. How did this happen? No. I helped, dude. She's right over there. I, I can't believe he went through with it. I, Was that I, my fault? No. Okay. okay. All right. Why? All right. I don't care. Now I'm. Now I'm angry. Okay, let's just do this. If Ulpius doesn't live, it's fine. Bye, Felicia. Absolute? Okay, bye. Are you mad that I let Ulpius pass away? I kind of feel bad about Ulpius. Did I not talk to Galerius? Oh, you never helped them this time. Okay. I'm gonna save, but I'm I'm gonna I'm just okay. I'm gonna load this one. You're just going to sleep, okay? Just kill a fool and go through the loop. No zero ten. I Opius is the key to this. The okay. Arrived are ignorant of the road before them. Oh God, we have a auto save before this. All right, what is going on here? It's probably this one. It's an odd game. I thought you had a runner. No, because I told him to, this last one. I told him to. I told him to gather everybody, so he didn't. Okay, good. Here we go. That one we send everybody to the cistern. Okay, so this one we're gonna send Galerius to fix everything. Ulpius won't kill himself, hopefully. But we need to give Galeria some time to run around and do all this stuff, okay? Okay, great. All right. Um, I need you to take some care of some things. Okay, do that. Do that. Do that. Okay, great. And go fast you can. Okay, great. Just stand at the bottom of the cliff. Thanks for bringing back Mystery Science Theater. The real Jerome, I didn't bring it back. I want to tell you that. I don't want to take credit, but I am in the season, and it's really fun. We get to do some super fun stuff. Hi. Oh, you're and, uh, do you know what I'm gonna do right now? Oh, stop it! No, please go on. What was that? Some kind of joke? If it was, it wasn't funny. Oh wow! I can. I take back what I said. So there's no way to get get it in with her. Find you. She doesn't like anything. 
Um, do you know way out of here? Uh, I was asking for a way. I guess, as a matter of fact, I do know a way out. Hey, Takeshi. I'm happy to tell you all about Takeshi Kitano. This is valuable information we're talking about, and I don't just give it out like some cheap. I got money. I'll give you money, girl. How badly do you want it? Is it worth, say, a thousand denarii to you? Yeah, yeah, you can do it. Um, tell me more about it. What are you buying? I know it's a scam. It's hardly my fault if people misunderstand the terms of a deal. I mean, it does say. This is hemlock scan. Right outside my tavern. Okay. All bye. right. I'm just giving. I'm literally just talking to you to get more time for Galerius to do my do my errands. Um, Uwe Bowl map movies are very good. I will tell you that. Uwe Uwe. I wonder if I can go up this way. Can I get there faster here? I'm just gonna try this. Briber with beanie babies? Isn't everyone saying that NFTs are the new beanie, beanie, beanie babies? I don't, there are some things about NFTs that are interesting. Um, unfortunately, I think a lot of the art is pretty low quality and it's just a way to make money and it doesn't feel right. Um, I have an NFT that I'm going to release, but it's going to be like a very low price point. It's almost, it's only on like a membership card. And that doesn't seem scuzzy to me. It's just basically I'm selling something that will make it easier for me to let people on the Discord because of the, uh, because of the NFT properties as it has. And I'm like, okay, that's cool. But mostly, yeah, it's really scammy. And I don't have like some kind of like shiny eye toward this new crypto stuff. I don't. But I do think that there there has to be some application that's interesting and moral for people. I'll give you this NFT of a primate holding a hemlock. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's so bad. When Melania Trump came out with an NFT, I'm like, I think I might push my plans back a couple months because it seems so scummy. Oh. Yes, NFTs, well, this, NFTs, like, the membership card, if you get, like, it's going to be a low price point, it'll, it'll be, like, good for a year, it's a membership card to a club, kind of like, um, you know, a public radio station membership card. You're supporting something, you're getting some stuff in exchange, and you can use, and the NFT will actually allow you to do things that you couldn't do only buying a JPEG, right, an image. So... The coding behind it will allow you in the Discord without having to do extra work so that somebody has to hand approve people. Um, you will be able to print it on some merch with whatever you have. You know what I'm saying? There are some things that you can automate because you have it. It allows you to do some things. But until that technology shows up, then people are, are going to look at it as a scam because it is a scam in a lot of ways. People are not, they're treating it like a get rich quick scheme, which is just gross. And a lot of people are making low quality stuff and there's a lot of scammers out there. So just be careful if you do anything. Also, a lot of artists are getting their stuff ripped off. And there's no way on like OpenSeas to tell them, hey, that's my IP that someone made an NFT of. So then how are you going to get all that back and unsell it? How do you do that? I don't know. People have to deal with all this. It's the same when any tech new technology comes along. Napster came along. People were stealing music, you know? Oh, people are stealing videos like this. And there's kind of like a weird ethos that NFT gives you. I don't know. It's just very complicated. And I'm definitely looking at all of it because I want to be in the space in a cool way. I definitely don't want to be an a-hole. And I'm definitely not getting rich off of it. But I do think there are creative ways to use new technology in a way that allows you to do more creativity and is easier for the audience. Until it's that, it's not useful, right? Yeah, if the issuer is garbage, exactly. It seems more useful for documents and communication apps says exactly look at I totally and that's what I'm trying to do with geeks. I'm going to be having a whole new stuff that's launched in the spring. It'll be like I said, it'll be like a club membership. It'll be a yearly renewal because, um, you know, as far as like, especially if I'm hanging out once a week, I can't just give a flat fee and then I'm obligating myself to show up eternally for a flat fee. For somebody, you know, that's not a good use of my time, and I'll make, I'll make, I'll be resentful and 
not have time for it and then people will be resentful of me and blah 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 so if i make it like a yearly thing of a very low price point and you get all these things with it then that's kind of cool because it is like an archie club membership so that's kind of my thinking when i relaunch uh, the geeks club um so that everyone's getting lots of value so if it was just regular dollars you'd still be getting good value and i think that's what that's what that's how everybody should show up not just like resell extravaganza the tech always seems to jump ahead in usage before regulations exactly what i love about new technology is that it allows creativity in a way that wasn't happening which i totally see right now but it also allows people getting rich quick and that's a lot of people right now i think it's the majority and so until the utility actually justifies itself where you're not getting something you're 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 currently not getting what this can offer you and it's easy enough for audience to understand and, and be involved in, then you're not gonna reach a tipping point of acceptability. You're just kind of making people vulnerable to being ripped off, quite frankly. And I think that's really sad. I know people, some people um, who are about my age, but they're not nearly as tech savvy. They're like, I'm gonna go make some NFTs. I'm like, okay, do you understand all of the, the you know, do you understand it? Is your art good? Like it's, um, yeah, it's uh, it's not good. Okay, let's do this. Anyway, I just want you guys to know that I'm conscientious about what I'm doing. I'm not doing it as a get rich quick scheme. I'm doing it as a creative exercise and hopefully it's successful. And if it's not, at least I'm offering value so that if somebody pays $20, $30, $10, whatever, whatever they're paying for, they're getting something in exchange that is worth their time and effort and support. So that's what I'm telling you. Yeah, the NFT content living on a server. It's exactly, it's a problem but it's not gonna go away. So then you kinda have to look at this because so much money is in it, it's not going to fail. So when regulation comes in and standardizes it a lot, what, what is appealing about it? And what's fun to be on the cutting edge of? Versus like, I'm gonna go and explore a bunch of people who don't understand the space, but are just jumping on a train like a Beanie Baby train. That's, I mean, yeah, g getting rich is fun. I don't, it's not gonna happen because A, I, I don't really think like that. And then B, that's not how I'm constructing what I'm doing. Um, unless like tons of people sign on, but then when you scale, you got to hire more people and all that stuff. So I don't know. To me, it's just about being fun and creative. So it'll be in the spring. Don't worry about it. We're talking about NFTs. We're talking about NFTs and crypto and all that stuff. And a lot of one of a kind wardrobe pieces. Oh, that's interesting, Ashlon. Okay, here we go. Somebody just said something about Beanie Babies, which made me go off on NFTs because my grandmother, um, my grandmother's a bit of a hoarder and she bought thousands of Beanie Babies and somehow there was like mold damage in the room and they had to throw away thousands of Beanie Babies. And I can't even tell you how much money she probably spent on those Beanie Babies. Bubbies. Yeah. If the internet taught us anything, it's unlikely that something uploaded will actually disappear. That's kind of trite. That's interesting. <laughs> yeah, I would definitely encourage you to investigate it because it's not going to go away and it's better to be educated and be able to talk to people about it in an educated way. Uh, Crypto Casey is a really interesting um, person online who has like really introductory tutorials on like basics of all this stuff. And I think it's all going to change this next year because regulations are thankfully going to come in and classify things in different ways. And ooh, look at this. It's a Beanie Baby bubble. Oh, I guess Ulpius is not coming in after me. You have a surprisingly well-level view and understanding of it. I think you'll be fine. Yeah, T-Market, the only thing is um, that all the work that is going to put it is being put into it to make it good. I, um, I feel like it's not enough, fast enough to build something big enough. But at the end of the day, I'm going to do what I do. I'm not going to build a huge business again like Geek and Sundry. So whatever level it turns out to be, it will be the level of comfort that I have. Um, uh-oh! Oh my god. Yeah, the mold. Well, it's okay. I never wanted beating babies. I'm just saying that 20 years ago she thought that it was a collector's item. And I, the fact that she got scammed into that. Alright, um, Nurgle? I 
don't know what's going on. Was I did I have to say all four? Was it Pluto? This way. Um I guess I have to say all four. Cuz I'm doing it in a different order right now. Uh-oh. Oh, look, cool. Oh, okay, maybe all four rooms are. Okay, so this is definitely Greek. Call the columns are Greek. And this one is... This one is Egyptian. Clearly, we've got jackals. Very cool. And then now, maybe we've got... Oh, got you. Okay. Osiris. And this one must be Nurgle. Okay. This is Nurgle. Nurgle. Oh! Avon calling. Thanks, Lukevo. That's pretty funny. Hades first. It was Pluto. Then Hades. Then Osiris. And then Nurgle. What the F? Are we in Mass Effect suddenly? Hey! Oh my gosh, what is this? What?! I'm so glad we waited for this one at the, at the end. What?! Oh my god, it's so cool. We meet at last? Oh my god, I gotta save it. Oh! This is so cool! Are you kidding? He's just like, I'm gonna casually decorate with these guys. Who's this? And here you are. Allow me to introduce myself. As you have already gathered, I've been known by many names. Nergal to the Sumerians, Osiris to the Egyptians, Hades to the Greeks, and Pluto to the Romans. But the one constant through it all has been my title, God of the Underworld. And I've been watching you with curiosity, mortal, ever since your arrival. You are unlike the others, not you. <laughs> I and call them molars. More, you carry <laughs> a weapon that was never intended for mortals to wield, and you do it so brazenly. But there will be time for your reckoning later. Reckoning? First, I don't think so, Blue Eyes. Baby Blues is Paul Newman. I will allow you to satisfy your curiosity. Ask what you will. Um, what's your story? <laughs> eh, what's your story? Your story is many thousands of years long. I'll settle in. You need to be more specific. What's your story? What isn't you is it specific enough? Why, you're gone? It is a matter of perspective. God is a label I was given by the mortals, not one I gave myself. How easy it is for no you to eat an apple. revered me because to them, my knowledge and technology made me incomprehensibly powerful. Just as you might seem so to an insect. I, I, want, I want him to be a vampire. He's so hot. There are rules even I must obey. Oh. Why are you looking sound like a man-man? My kin and I all adopted this form long ago so that we might better understand and communicate with our kind. <laughs> In time, we grew fond of the sensory delights it affords. Desire, joy, ecstasy, even rage and sorrow, while an acquired taste can be addictive. I know, man. It's like video games. May I see your true form? Why would I ask that? This is my beloved. I don't think she's like that me, beloved. She has been known by many names. Oh, bad hair! Erish Kigel to the Sumerians, Isis to the Egyptians, Persephone to the Greeks, and Proserpina to the Romans. Oh, great. Or so you got like someone an incel her here. The goddess of springtime, the cycle of life and renewal. She's been whispering to me. Okay. Your All gaze right. lingers too long. Okay, I just was taking in her hair. Can I see your true form, ma'am? No. Long ago, I swore to Persephone that I would remain in this Persephone. form for as long as we... She looks happy. Your kind. 
I must honor that. Mm. Uh, who's on the right? That is my servant. You would Ooh. have met by the river, though she wears many faces. Oh, it's Karen! Many names. Hey, Karen! Kumutabal to the Sumerians, Kurti to the Egyptians, Charon to the Greeks, and Charon to the Romans. Karen. to ferry souls between the mortal world and this one to make their transition as seamless as possible. Karen, that, what's up? She earned herself the infamous, if erroneous, moniker, the ferryman. You will talk more later. For now, ask your questions. Okay. Uh, let's talk about as something else. Wish. What's this place, man? It's come to be known simply as the Underworld. And it exists because of a wager I made long ago. Uh, who built this city on Rock and Roll? As the first wave of your kind arrived from Sumer. Sumer. I had them build a city in their own fashion, so that they might be comfortable. Yeah, comfortable except lives, yeah. for that whole golden moon. I had them thing. build the entrance as a vertical shaft leading to baths. Oh, nice. To cleanse them of the sins of their former lives. As committed as a gambling problem. <laughs> I watched wave after wave of Sumerians arrive, and as their civilization declined over the centuries, they were replaced by Egyptians. Okay, nice. Of course, believing themselves to be the superior civilization, yeah. the Egyptians promptly built over what had been built before and made all the same mistakes. Gotcha. After okay. another thousand years, Thank the Greeks you. began to arrive, and then the Romans, and they all did the same thing. Gotcha. They built upon the underworlds of the I mean, listen, princes. everybody wants to we renovate when they move in, okay? It's not unreasonable. Foundations were Okay. Uh, that what is the a major? long story, one that began over three thousand years ago and continues to this day. Yeah, go ahead you and see, just tell it. Long ago, my kin and I set out from our home on Elysium to search for other forms of life among <laughs> Vertical the stars. Shit. We discovered your planet and witnessed your kind evolving from primates into something lawless and barbaric. I mean, I think we're cuter we're than monkeys now, but okay. Ourselves. Your two short lives being extinguished by violence and ignorance. I'm not going to argue with you because you're kind of right. All potential in you. you persuaded the rest of us it would be squandered without our intervention and stewardship. So you put her in loose sight? So we revealed ourselves to your people in a place called Sumer. We offered guidance in agriculture, tool craft, and law. The game was made by fans of ancient aliens. <laughs> For a time, you flourished. <laughs> but soon you were too many for us to oversee. And as you spread from that cradle of civilization, you saw something disturbing. Penis. We had sown the seeds of dependency and confusion. And soon you returned to your old ways of violence and ignorance. This time in our name. I mean, gods My are just justification for doing crappy stuff in our own kind, preference. Condemning you as barbaric and chaotic. <laughs> History channel. Banana. We began preparations to return to Elysium. Peace and out. World, Makes sense. Utopia unspoiled by conflict and unimaginable in its beauty. But my mm -hmm. Persephone could not bear to abandon your kind without guidance. And knowing it would force the rest of us to leave her behind, she made an extraordinary sacrifice. She gave up her immortality to descend permanently. To the ranks of humankind. I don't know why she did that. And Persephone. So her inescapable trajectory. Okay, so she's in stasis or Horrified, some crap. I acted swiftly. I placed her in suspended animation <laughs> in a deep frozen sleep to prevent age and sickness from claiming her. And then okay. I pleaded with Persephone's father, who the Romans called Jupiter, to bring her with us to Elysium. Okay. It was and is my hope that once there, we might one day learn to undo what she has done to herself. Okay. But he refused. I did everything. So basically, you just kept her in a cage? This is like bad guy material. He would this rigidly cool, uphold his final pronouncement. Humans were unworthy of ascension to Elysium, and no exceptions would be made. Okay. But seeing that I was agreed, he proposed a wager, hmm. the terms of which were as follows. If even one human city could prove itself capable of living without sin for a single year. A single year? Persephone and all of humanity 
would be permitted to join us in Elysium. How long have they been my down part there? Would be to remain behind, the last of my kind, to watch over you without interfering, and to sit in silent judgment. Okay. And so wow. My reward oh boy, this one. Here, Long story, man. Year winter, waiting for the day your kind proves itself worthy of her faith in you. I mean, it's a good so point. You I can't go one year without sins. And unthaw my goddess of springtime. Okay, first of all, she's not and your here goddess. I am, after all this time, still waiting. Okay. Who's with you? Oh, Who are your kids? There are also be? gods who, like me, have been known by many names. Okay, Roman names. Our leader, Jupiter, as well as Neptune, Saturn, Jupiter, Okay, that's pretty cool. I like this. So basically, they're aliens from Elysium. And of course, my beloved Persephone. I don't think she loves you back, creep. How do you decide to who comes the here? the was fair, it was important that my subjects were chosen at random. To this end, I had my servant distribute a thousand tokens fashioned from oh, silver. Oh, cool! A rare element at the time, across all of Zuma. Mm. Whoever died while in possession of one of them would be located by my servant and ferried to this place, with no memory right. of how they arrived. Oh, we got As this. As the tokens were discovered, they were traded, smelted, and fashioned smelted. trinkets. They smelted a lot. Eventually coins, spreading to Egypt like seeds on the wind. All right. Later, when they spread to Greece, they would come. Danger to guy. I don't think she loves him. Gold. She's been whispering to me Those and keeping secrets from him. Okay. Some placed coins in the mouths of their dead, hoping they would awaken here, though they had no way of knowing. So if they were smelted, wouldn't pieces of that silver be in there? So it would be way more than a thousand fact, coins out there. Almost all of the tokens are accounted for. Only two remain. Oh. And so after this wave destroys itself. As it is destined to do, your kind will have squandered the last of its potential to ascend beyond this rock, and Persephone's along with it. Okay. Um, how did Hermes learn about this? It is a regrettable story. It seems like it's a long one, one too. Of okay. The first men who came to this place was a king of Sumer and a troublemaker. Okay. To be rid of him, I returned him to his people. On the condition that my servant erased his memories of this place. But the erasure like did not take completely. And he told stories of this place as if describing... Don't ask, I already him. did, Conductor. His tales were committed to writing, which came to be known as the Epic of Gilgamesh. Oh, how interesting. His words were twisted and Oh, who was Gil Gilgamesh's um, Umbutu? Later, the Egyptians would adapt Sumer's what was his Who was world, his lover's name? them wildly intricate and labyrinth. And, De and Deku, yeah, of and Kidu. And Book of Gates bore less and less resemblance to this. They're total lovers, the aren't they? Gilgamesh and Enkidu, if you read it, they love then each when other. When the Greeks began to arrive, they proved far more cunning. And in a series of incidents that will not be repeated, five of them escaped. A mm. warrior named Heracles. Wow. Two kings named Sisyphus and Theseus. A poet named Orpheus. And a Trojan named Aeneas. Aeneas. Well, no women. That's... Tales of this place. We don't know about the women who weren't allowed to write things down because they weren't literate. And so from Sumer to them Egypt, to to Greece to Rome, your kind has always told each other stories about this place. Though oh my gosh. story contained only a seed of truth. Okay, so let's talk about something else. Um, okay. That is merely the name your people have given to it. Let's talk about the golden yes, rule. It is my duty. Okay, why turn people to gold? I thought you liked silver. That is a story dating back to the very first Oh, world. no. <laughs> After the Sumerians finished building their city, the self-declared ruler threw a banquet to celebrate. Great. Now this man was unmarried, and many women were vying to become his wife. Okay, his great. His position of power and influence in a new Yeah, world. you know, women like power and money. Women, That's just women, because you're an a-hole. Both were beautiful. And both arrived at the banquet wearing eye-catching dresses. Eye-catching dresses. Their hair woven in elaborate fashion. Yeah, they did it just the for you. The first woman, recognizing that she would require an advantage to win the ruler's affection. Okay. Seeing this oh. ostentatious display, the second woman grew Damn envious. It. Sorry. But she had no such jewelry at her disposal. She prayed aloud to any gods that would listen to cover her in gold. Okay. And when her prayer went unanswered, 
she took matters into her own hands. She went to Claire's While the jewelry. others indulged at the banquet, the second woman summoned the first for a discussion in a quiet place. Uh-oh. She checked that nobody was watching and pushed her rival from the top of the ziggurat where she broke her neck on the rocks below. This is a good story. She was watching, and I decided to answer her prayer. I took the golden bow left behind by Diana, and I shot that woman in the heart, covering her from head to toe in a molten gold. And I left her to stay. I do love this world building. It's true. She rather. might serve as a grim reminder of what befalls those who sin in my domain. Okay. But that was not enough, for the entire city was tainted by her sin, and the wager could no longer be won. Oh, so she ruined so everything. I had no choice but to wipe the slate clean. I gilded the You all you had no choice. Yeah. It's true, he had no choice, guys. And began the wager again. And to this day, each of them yes. and all who came after line the halls of this city in animate, suspended in time with only their sight and hearing preserved, so they may bear witness to and lament the folly of your kind for eternity. So they all are sentient, all of them. They can hear. That would drive me crazy. Um, yes, if you were hearing tape in the background, that is my some. I, I I had someone come in, my sometimes assistant. She's helping me send all of the. Get, I did all the auction myself on Saturday. I put them all in my car, and I, and I took them to a shipping place, and I paid somebody to wrap them really nicely. And that, but the little stuff that I gave away during the giveaway last week, um, she's sending all that as well as taking all the other stuff that I didn't auction back to my um, storage unit. And so that's what, if you hear any tape, it's Bex in the background. Thanks, Bex. True story, Bex actually helped me package the first Guild DVDs. She's nodding in the background. Bex has been a helper. Bex, come over here and say hi. This is Bex. This is Bex, and Bex was the first volunteer for the Guild she came in and she literally helped package Guild DVDs on the ground in 2007 or 8. So Bex is a legend. It's true. Bex hype. <laughs> I've been calling Bex. Now I do actually compensate her for her time, but <laughs> she has been around for so long helping out. Isn't that funny? She is a, she is a legend. She's a Guild legend. So her fingerprints are on some of the Guild DVDs. She's the only person who helped me and Kim. So you're responsible for Dora throwing all the lies. The second chance of life, as well I pay her in sign Guild merch. About my law. <laughs> and when you disobey, and you always disobey. She's never been full time. I just hire her like, hey, can you go over this afternoon and help me? Upon yourselves. And so you ask if I am the one destroying your lies. And I say, no, you destroy yourselves. I. And merely the means by which you do it. I mean, it's kind of true. Where did the golden bows when come from? Departed, they left behind many relics which I inherited. AKA just stole. A consolation prize of sorts. So he's just waiting here for Persephone to be un... To one of my kin, who the Romans called Diana. As my collection of golden statues grew, I chose the most ferocious among them and equipped them each with a duplicate of her bow. And yep, Uber Baldy. Hunting down the forsaken at my behest, they became known simply as Furies. Oh, I love it. Okay, what do you consider a sin, man? That the cornerstone of morality is the ability to determine right from wrong on one's own. Yeah. Okay. No attempt to lay out rules like your code of Hammurabi or your twelve tables of the Roman Republic can ever cover all possible scenarios. He loves the sound of his own heavily EQ voice. <laughs> since the core principle has been expressed in Bob West, you're on a roll today. by many of your civilizations. The Egyptians made a rudimentary attempt with do to the doer to make him do. The I like Greeks that one. find it with avoid doing what you would blame others for doing. That's true. The Roman Stoics oh, added, interesting. treat your inferior as you would wish your superior to treat That one Hollywood people could definitely Even learn. Even the so-called cultists hiding among you often say, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Cultus. It is right. the simplest of concepts, and each one of you is born with the faculties required to apply it to any situation. Oh, interesting. He hasn't talked to anybody in 3,000 years. It's true. Express this rule, we're able to uphold it. K. 
curious, is it not? Um, doesn't seem like you've been hold upholding it either. Oh! Enough. You clearly know. Oh, no, I shouldn't have been sassy to the Underworld God! I'm able to commune with all of the statues in the city. Their ears are my ears. It's Toxalith. Sure is right. Is Proserpina connected to the statues? If she was still conscious, I suppose she could, but she's not. Why do you ask? Uh... Okay, careful. He doesn't know I speak to you. Uh, no reason. Then what an odd question. I don't know. I've seen some terrible things here that you didn't consider a sin. How could you let those happen? I don't know. Like you somebody plan to being. Speak in sweeping generalizations. Or are you going to give me an example? Yeah, I'm going to give you an example. Um, experiments on the golden statues. The midwife in the palace. Yes. How is that inconsistent? With um, she wouldn't want to be experimented upon if she was gilded. The rule is do unto others, meaning other people. Those statues are something else now. Bloodless shadows, mere shapes of their former self. Okay, what about... They are forsaken. What happens to them is no concern of mine. Okay, I don't know about that. It seems like a little, extremely literal interpretation of the rule. Applying this rule always requires us to interpret the meaning of the word. A literal interpretation helps to minimize the ambiguities of your primitive language. Okay. If our language is full of ambiguity, does not mean the rule inherently subject and subjective and unreliable? Hmm? hmm. Supposing you're right, then my law has been broken, and I should turn you all to gold immediately. Oh, no! What do you want? I am right, and you know it. Then your desire to be right outweighs your desire to survive. Uh, you will make a fine statue. Oh no! What? I think I, I think I messed up. Um, y'all, what do I do? I don't think I chose right. Are we supposed to draw both? Wooden bow? I don't think I should do wooden bow. This definitely means gold. <laughs> Break my chamber, seize my crown. How dare you threaten us? The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. I got it! Uh, what am I doing now? Rewind time? How do I rewind time? Follow... What? Wait, what? Oh, okay, so... I need to steal the crown and then run back through. Okay. We meet at last. Oh my god. Okay. What's this place? Who built the city? I don't need to do any of this. Okay. Um, what do you consider a sin? It doesn't feel like you've all been white from the people in the goal. Okay. Um. Um, where did the bold and bows come from? Okay, uh, debt bondage. Okay, it's customary to take out a loan to buy a house in another place to pay for an education. I hey, see. girl face! And how long might it take such a person to repay that? It depends. I fail to see how your system of loans is significantly different to a debt bondsman signing over his labor for 30 years. I mean... It's not the same thing. Hmm. Supposing you Oh, okay. <laughs> now tell me. Um Abduction? Abduction? You mean the magistrate imprisoning his daughter in the cistern, I take it. Okay. He did so because she sought to escape. A sin I take particular better oh, than boy. he stops her from escaping. 
albeit brutishly, and I have to wipe out this entire city to punish her. Wouldn't you agree? Oh boy. Uh, I disagree hmm. with that. Suppose. Um, let's see what he says on this other stuff. Suicide. I see no such thing. Taking one's own life is a self-directed act. It is not one that is done to others. Hey, Mr. Ryan. However, they may be affected by it. Spider can't. Therefore, it cannot be said that one who commits suicide has done anything unto others. Okay, I kind of okay. Hmm. Okay. Now. T okay. What about ah, the scam? The tavern key. How is that inconsistent with the rule? She wouldn't want someone else to sell her hemlock if she thought she was buying a means I of disagree. escape. I disagree. Having watched that tavern keeper, that is precisely what she would expect from others. She would view it as Thanks, a Thanks, Cushion Odona. One she intends she to win. You can't know what she would expect. You're just speculating. Hmm? Applying this rule always requires speculation to some degree. It requires us to ask what another person would want if they found themselves in another situation. He's kind of consistent. Not if we're... Hmm. Supposing... Okay, so we're... We're we're in this loop. Um... Do you honestly think you could do better? Yeah, I think I could, yeah. I should strike you down for that. Yeah, you're a tyrant, buddy. And if you did, you'd be proving my point. Hmm. Now, did you... <laughs> oh, I got out of it! No reason. Okay, um... Okay, so... Let's do this. Okay. So we're gonna do this. I'm right and you'll... Okay, that's it. We're gonna draw the golden bow. Okay. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Uh, am I supposed to just get out of here? How am I gonna get out of here with all these people with bows? Oh boy. Oh boy. Um, this is a really far way to go, y'all. <laughs> ah, butt pucker! Butt pucker! Butt pucker! Oh! I'm bugged! Oh, I'm about to die, y'all. Oh no! Oh no. Oh god. Oh my gosh. I could do it. Where's Sentius? I got here before him? Oh my gosh. Dude, do your thing! Come on! Run faster! I'm not headed the wrong way. Please, Mel, I got it. I did. I got it. It's just... There's, uh, the, the back doorway. I beat him. I don't know how I beat him. I was just like, there's too many people with arrows! I ziplined once. Okay, now we're gonna go back. Now we're gonna go back. Um, should we have him do all those things? Okay. Uh, I'll just—I just like to save everybody. <laughs> okay. All right. So now we're gonna do this again. Okay. This is the last one. I do. I knew. Okay. I know I was supposed to end the stream early, but that's fine. Uh, it's fine. We're gonna finish this game. We're going to finish this game. I have time. I'm gonna make time. We're never playing this game. No, this game is so good. Is there a health pack in the game? No, but you do... Look at this. I I'm healing quite fast, so... Yeah, basically, we're never playing any other game. So I have her crown. I have her crown. So that's good. And so now I need to go back into um, into here. We're gonna finish the game, y'all. Okay, so now I can go back in here. All right.
right? And then we go, uh, Pluto. And then we go, we're going back in time, basically. Hades. Okay, let's see what happens. This game is so good. It really is. Um, Osiris. Nurgle. Nermal. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Oh! She's alive again! She... She has a crown again. How's that possible? Myself as Nergal to the sim but the one constant, and I've been watching it, and what the day will first. See this? It's Proserpina's... Pr pr Proserpina's crown! Throw! recognize that anywhere and yet my beloved still wears hers what what is this how did you come by it hmm i took it from her after i killed her in another timeline bitch you fine despicable creature why would you do such a thing and worse still boast about it hmm i could do this all day and the golden rule, or I will. I didn't want to kill her, but if you don't put an end to the golden rule, I'll do it again. You, you have put me in an impossible position. Yeah. If I refuse, you will murder her. And yet, if I agree, I will lose my wager and return to Elysium <laughs> humiliated. Uh, uh, then. what? That's the idea. <laughs> Perhaps you are cleverer than you appear, mortal. Yeah, I yeah. Not see that I have a choice in this. Your treachery and savagery have opened my eyes like nothing I have witnessed in 3,000 mm -hmm. years. Mm -hmm. And now you have shown me your species' true colors. Mm -hmm. And I see that Persephone was a fool to have ever believed in you at all. Yeah, we're irredeemable. Too long. Psycho! I got a psycho achievement! If I abandon the way journey for Elysium, neither she nor your kind may ever ascend. That's cool. We don't care. We just want to return to the world, man. Let's just go, okay? Hmm. Very well. Because Jupiter I won't let mortals there. Okay. Arrangements to ferry the others. But as for you, be aware you will be separated from the rest. Why? Don't maybe kill her again. Enough, foul creature. <gasps> this is not something I have decided. <gasps> oh! See, once this exodus begins, the events that brought you to this moment will never have taken place. Oh. And you will have created a paradox. Oh. What will become of you is difficult to predict, but that is the risk you have taken by interfering in the natural Hamburger. Of time. Okay, cool. Now, cool. are you ready? Cool, cool. Uh. Yeah, let's have ready. Best pray our paths never cross again, mortal. I did it! I did it! The Mass Effect ship is gone! Proserpina didn't even talk to me. She wasn't like, thanks, bud. Wait! Is that it? Oh. Uh, hi there. Oh, what? Well, oh, I'm poopy. Okay, I don't want to talk to you. What became of him and the other people who lived here? What happened to all the golden Oh, wait, I should have done that. And did um, this mysterious oracle single-handedly undo the curse that had terrorized people for hundreds of years? Oh, so everybody got out. <gasps> oh, I can't believe I skipped past everything. I know, like, they... <laughs> Hey, crazy nut. Um, so evidently an oracle let everybody out. Damn it, Felicia. We should have listened to it. I know, Stardew! I'm gonna, I gotta, I gotta reload. Uh, what? God damn it. Oh, I see. For a moment there, I thought you were serious. Anyway, I think I found a way out through the aqueduct that brought water into the city. Follow me. No! 
Not why you short. I'm right. Okay, listen. Listen. I'm gonna reload it, y'all. Valior, <laughs> I, I, I have to reload. Anywhere. And yet, my beloved okay. still wears. All right, I took it from her. Okay. Okay, ba ba ba. That's the idea. Okay, go. Bye bye. We just why can't, why can't we go because to Elysium? Because despicable creatures like you have no place there. My kin would never allow it. Y'all, I can't. What I can do is return you to the land of the living. I will have Carol make arrangements to ferry the others. But as for you, be aware you will be separated from the rest. Okay. Um, that's not what it's I want. Not up to me. You see. Okay, we have time paradox. I'm ready. Let's get it. All right. Now, listen. It wasn't that bad. Now we're gonna hear what Al has to say, and it's gonna be worth it. The Sarah Belary becomes an epic NPC man episode. <laughs> so. Sad. Hey, Al. I don't know what you're gonna say to me, but I'm gonna listen to every word. Oh. Uh, hi there. Gave me a bit of a fray. Thought I was in here alone. I'm Al. Hey, Al. Al Worth, I came in here to find you. Well, here I am. I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. Um, I'm Poopy. I was hoping you'd know who I am, but... I know who you are. I barely remember how I got here myself. Okay, well, you oh, dyed your hair really dark, so... you in here after me? I guess I lost track of time, learning about the history of this place, and You're it pretty is hot, extraordinary. Actually, okay. I'm fairly certain you and I are the first people to set foot in this city for about 2,000 years. Fortunately wow. for us, the last person in here was a Roman man named Galerius, who inscribed an account into a tablet. What was Apparently, it? there was a community of 20-something people trapped in here, and living in fear of a curse they called the Golden Rule. Uh-huh, were they 20 something? if even one person sinned, an unknown god would cast them all into gold, like the thousand people who'd lived here before them. Okay. Then, one day, just as Galerius had finished praying for a good harvest at the Shrine of Proserpina, guy's busy. an oracle appeared and told him how to solve the ills of the city, like saving the life of a dying woman, Oof. foiling an assassination attempt, okay. and so on. Meanwhile, the oracle walked up to the temple of the mysterious god, this one right here, and demanded an audience. Ooh. And the doors just opened up to her. Nobody knows what went on in there, but Galerius wrote the oracle must have been more persuasive than Odysseus, because the next thing he knew, the ground shook, and the voice of that god rang out over the city. The many have suffered long enough. What? Unfortunately, Galerius' account just sort of stops after that, mm. leaving a lot of questions unanswered. Mm. What became of him and the other people who lived here? What happened to all the golden statues? And did this mysterious oracle single-handedly undo the curse that had terrorized people for hundreds of years? I'm glad we're talking about this now, and I'm glad that I heard everything you said because it was actually more interesting than I would thought. Um, it was me. Uh, it's just a little bit. Yeah, it was uh, me. What? Oh, <laughs> I see. For a moment there, I thought you were serious. Anyway, yeah. I think I found a way out through the aqueduct that brought water into the city. Follow me. Okay, you're gonna blow that? Okay, just blow me off, man. Typical. All right, let's go. Typical, typical. Oh, here we go. Let's save it. Save 5,075. This could be our last save for this game. Al! What you doing, buddy? Oh, hey. What you doing now? I'm gonna pause here for a moment and make sure nobody else is ever lured into this temple. Okay. Good idea. Go on ahead, and I'll be there soon. All right, you do what you need to do, Al. All right. I respect you. Your hair is lighter in this. In this light, it's nice. It looks way better. You know when somebody dyes their hair super dark, but it's sometimes it's not so fetching. Technically, I never went back in time. I guess at this point, yeah, you're right. Let's, if you actually think about time travel, it doesn't work, so. Hi! You're back, but you're alone. Does that mean you didn't find Al? How are you here? Did you not go to Elysium? I found him, he'll be in here oh, now. What a relief. Thank you so much. I was beginning hey, to you, think you become trapped in there. Okay. Why don't you tell me what you discovered while we wait? Um, I discovered Wait, so this is a different? So wouldn't Karen ah, kind of know? I see. <gasps> I thought you might. Well, now you know. What? I suppose you have questions. I, 
I mean, you can just call me Carol. Okay. That most people find comfort. Okay, so we already had this. That you died, of course. My we had this conversation. Hmm. Most so ask yourself. Nah, no. A wise decision. All you need to know is that you. So we had this conversation before. Perhaps you have heard the tales. No, we already heard story. about this well, from your boss. A long time. My orders were sent. Okay, we got it. We that got it. There. All right. I see no point in keeping you here. So we got the exact same dialogue as when we got out before. To yourself. Okay. Look, here comes Al now. Hi, I'm just a sorority girl with a really bad wig on. You were gone so long, I thought I'd never see you again. Yeah, my hair burned off at a, a hazing situation. We it's cool. Believe what we found. The ruins of a long forgotten city. And there was a tablet describing an oracle who confronted a god and undid an ancient curse. Okay. Sounds like quite a story. And I look forward to hearing Thank you, all about it. But Boy, you start? two look exhausted. Why don't you hop in my boat and rest while I ferry you back to civilization? I'd love some burger. Sounds good to me. And you? Are you ready to go home? Okay. All right, Sharon. Karen. Ferry us home. Let's do it. So, wait a minute. What? Wait, wait. Oh, 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 it's something different. Horse butt. Nice one. Hey, Al. Who's this? Oh. Hey, you made it. It's great to see you again. That I read your book. Like okay, it's fine. What the critics said about it. I guess they weren't Push ready for the your button. theories about the underworld. It's cool. It was hey, self-published. It's fine. After everything you've been through, I thought you might appreciate some good news. So after we got back to the real world, I started doing some research into the people mentioned in Galerius's tablet. And I found something strange. What? I'm sorry I've been so cryptic. I've been dying to tell you. I just really wanted you to see this for yourself. Okay, cool. Why don't you head on Ooh. down there? God, you're creepy. I'll catch up with you at the other end. Al, the way your eyes move around, it feels like maybe you have, like, a thyroid issue or... Hey, what's up? Okay. Oh, look at this. Cool. Oh! <gasps> what?! You're finally here. Remember me? Galerius! It's a crazy story. After you disappeared, Karen appeared and told us she was returning us to the world. Even gave us some coins to help us start our lives over. Only, for some reason, she returned us to your world instead of ours. Dude, anyway, what'd you think about I TV? We never had that one conversation, and I wasn't even sure if you'd remember me, but I wanted to say thanks for freeing us from the underworld and giving us a second chance. Yeah, no, there's not as much, there's not as much bubonic plague here. Also, Instagram is lovely. Whoa, what are you doing with yourself? Oh, I used Karen's gift to buy a farm in Umbria. Got a villa on it too, with enough room for Dooley, of course. Oh, great. It's hard work, but I sleep soundly every night. I'm finally my own man, and I, I wouldn't change it for the world. I love reality TV. Are you with Equitia? I know. I can't believe my luck either, but we're engaged and living together. We're planning to get married next spring. Nice. If you're going to be around, we'd love to see you there. I mean, marriage is a construct that's kind of outdated, but cool, I'll be there. I look farm in Umbria. Sign me up, man. Uh, what else about like? Oh, of course, God. there's a whole museum full of people waiting for a chance to thank you. So you better keep moving. We'll speak again soon, my friend. Oh, this is amazing. Galeria and Equitia. Wow, you discovered eyeshadow! Galerius told me all about you. Nice! So, you're the hero who somehow vanquished the last of the Roman gods. This is amazing. As I'm a priestess, you realize you've put me out of work. It's okay, I read poems, it's wonderful. And it's I'm a life coach! Religious to say this. I'm finding life after religion quite enjoyable. <laughs> religion is stupid. How's Livia? Oh, it's sweet of you to ask. She recovered nicely. In fact, she's here somewhere. If you'd like to ask her yourself. Oh my god, this is so exciting. I'm gonna do it. What are you doing with yourself, huh? You're on like like a one 800 psychic? Darius and I are engaged and expecting. What? We've just bought a lovely villa in the countryside with room for a large family. And Dooley too, of course. I mean, of course. It's like the world has just opened up for us. 
There's so much to learn and so many more possibilities for our children than we ever imagined. It's true. Infant mortality is much better here. Yeah. For all of us. Oh, you're welcome. See you at the wedding, I hope. Nah, probably not. Okay. Hey, what's up? Dooley! Hello. Nice hoodie, buddy! I remember who you are, Dooley. Do you steal Hello. stuff? It's illegal Hello. still. The big helper. Thank you for getting us out of the bad place. I didn't know like it. What are you doing with yourself these days, Bubba? I live at Galerius and Equitia's house. Oh, that's sweet. They look after me now and help me remember when I forget things. Like brushing my teeth. Yeah, we do that now. I'm sorry you never found your treasure, man. Treasure? Oh, I forgot about that. I like my box. <laughs> Galerius got me a box that tells stories. It's my favorite thing. I, I love Reddit. It's a place where I can talk to people. <laughs> Story boxes are great, right? Desperate. Yeah. I love the yeah. housewives of Bel Air. I love those ladies. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I really like Mickey's fun house as well. Wow. Anybody over here? Ulia. Oh. Ooh, the hairline. Girl. You're, you're the oracle, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Poopy's fine. Oh, of yeah. course. Sorry. And I never got a chance to thank you for telling Galerius how to save my life. And of course... Getting me, and all of us, out of a terrible situation. Well, what you doing these days? What you doing, girl? Oh, I barely recognize myself. I'm I mean... in a house share in London with my <sighs> wonderful girlfriend. Wow! And I'm studying English at university. Wonderful. Eventually I want to travel the world and write about it. Yeah. It turns out, it's about 30 times bigger than the Roman Empire ever was. The whole you know round the earth thing is crazy, huh? Never knew existed. <laughs> it's and wild. You can almost anywhere in an aircraft, which is rather like flying on a Pegasus, but much more comfortable. Oh, sorry, you already know all that, of course. It's I'm cool. I'm so excited. There's so much to see and learn and write about. Okay. Well, seeing the world through fresh eyes sounds wonderful. Yeah, it's nice. And women aren't owned by people. It's it's really cool. No more slaves. <laughs> I have noticed people in your time have no idea how fortunate they Hey, sugar free. I hope to change that one day. All right. Whatever happened to Melolius and Claudia? Last I heard, Meliolus kept insisting he was the last rightful ruler of the Roman Empire and wound up being committed to a psychiatric hospital. Eesh. As for Claudia, she was always so viciously unhappy. Mm. Someone says she'd blown all her money on wine, trying to drink herself back to the underworld. We have good wine now, After though. After the horrific way they treated Ulpius and me, I can't help feeling a sense of... What's that German word? Mm. Schadenfreude? Wow, Ulia, you're very... Well, yeah, that's, you know... You're, you, Thank you. Better. You're very kind. I'm not to them, but yeah, okay. Whatever happened to Oriola? Yeah. Someone told me she was boasting about getting her claws into some rich oh. prince. And how she was going to be living the high life. She's going to be a TikTok star. Even in your time Ori, thanks for the sub! Affair. Apparently he'd proposed before they'd even met. What? And last I heard, she'd bought herself a first class one-way ticket to join him in some exotic place called... What was it? Nigeria? Some people have all the luck. I don't... Oracle, I foresee terrible disappointment. Oh no, really? she fell yeah. for an email scam. Derp. Thank you. Yeah, you're good. It's you nice to see you. I'll take you up on that, man. Listen to the okay. stories. Ulia, you're real cool. Oh, look, hey, Lucretia. You are here. It's nice to finally meet you. Uh, I guess I never met everybody. You hey. Fine. I'm making an effort to blend in, as you can see. We are all trying to keep a low profile. It's okay. If the world knew we died 2,000 years ago and were suddenly brought back to life 12 months ago, they'd never leave us alone. I mean, if... Speaking yeah. of which, I wanted to say thank you in person. I'd say the gods smile on you, but I hear you drove the last of them off. Oops. So, what happened to Persepina? So she just died? We just released her from death? I'm studying to get into medical school. I like as that. As much as I resented the responsibility of keeping everyone in the city alive, 
When it Shot ended, to the medic. I realized I missed I it. it. So I guess I'll just keep saving the world. If begrudgingly. I didn't meet any of them in the timeline, it's true. It's you? good to see you. Yeah. Okay, who else? Let's see. Hey. Oh. Sentia, oh! I take it you're the oracle. Yeah, you Thanks look great. Coming. You really look good. It's very posh Actually, size. I changed my name to Cynthia. I didn't want to be associated with Sentia. Yeah, what happened to your oh, dad, God. that creep? I'm not sure if you heard, but after you drove Pluto off, Proserpina emerged from the Great Temple. What? I knew right away what none of us had figured out about that psychopath. He'd been keeping my little sister locked up in the upper cistern all that time. But oh, he's boy. been dealt with. He's... Uh, you know what? The important thing is... We murdered we'll him. never see him again. <laughs> he's dead. What are you doing? Come on, you look good. Anything Close his eye. I'm a woman of means in a vast new world. I can go wherever and do whatever I please. Mm -hmm. Of course, I mostly just stay in my villa and have my servant Alexa summon things for me. Because it's just awful out there. Barbarians <laughs> everywhere. It's true. <laughs> People really think they're equals now. He's still there, all alone. The last golden statue in the underworld. Oh, that's nice. Trapped in a metal shell, slowly losing his mind until the end of time. Oh, that's a good Eternal story. Eternal torment. Just what he deserves, if you ask me. Good old dad. Ah, uh, good. It's good you to too. see you, Cynthia. See you around. Yeah, bye. That's uh interesting. Oh, who's this? Horatius, what's up? Hi there, I'm Horatius. Yeah, I met you before. Hey, I you were kind of a pain in my ass. To thank for giving us a second chance at life, and reuniting Santilla with us as well. Thank you, Hacks the Planet. So, thank you. All right, what do you do with yourself, man? I'm living up north and studying in the military academy in Modena. I'm going to be an officer one That's day. That's pretty cool. Okay. The world's changed a lot. But some but, you know, stay the same. being trained to kill is always... Would you believe we're still studying military tactics from my time? Alexander the Great, Caesar... That's Hannibal pretty interesting, Martin. actually. Still, well, I guess they practiced that a I lot more back then. challenging myself to let go of old ways of thinking and embrace the new. Yeah. As Seneca wrote, the ones who pioneered our paths aren't our masters, but our guides. I like that, yeah. I'm sorry that you never got to see a girl right. again. You remembered that. Thank you. I grieved for a time. Oof. But that's done. In uh, Domitius? Yeah, I'm sure he's here. Let's go find him. As those who rode behind triumphant generals remind them they are mortal. Okay, remind the quoting thing yourself, is not hot in 2020. I'm just letting you know. Isn't one of your possessions, but something given for now. Mitsuo, thank you. Not forever. All right, I'm glad you're coming. Thanks. That's great. Oh, and I don't know if you've heard, but a few of us are going for drinks later. It'd be nice to... Um, Chat with you some more. Hey, man. Yeah, I'll be there, baby. I like your bald head. Right. <laughs> That's a bad fart. What happened to Domitius? Oh, I see what you did there. Uh, Good one. Funny. He had more trouble adapting than most. Oh. He got himself disqualified from the UFC. So he started some kind of underground blood sport tournament. Like we had in Rome. That's not legal. Suppose it appealed to people's baser instincts. And they say he made some good coin, killing a bunch of men like that. But his luck finally ran out. And his life along with it. He was a jerk, so... You know what they say. So he did, like, like blood sport? Like the Jean-Claude Van Damme sport. movie come to life? That's a shame. Hmm. Perhaps. Perhaps. Okay. So, well, I'm gonna... Listen, I'll take that. Let me look at... Yeah. Yeah, I'll go for that. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. He's, he's got... Um, okay, who else do I need to speak to? Hey. Okay, we talked to them. Oh, Alright, let's let's go here. Who else do we need to talk to? Oh my god, they're all here! This is exciting! Hi! Hello! Hey, it's I the dude! The oracle everybody's talking about. It's a pleasure to find Even you got out, buddy! Good for you! Uh, I'm sorry, I don't remember. In any case, I'm Philip. Philip? I never thought I'd leave that cave. Let alone the city. And now I'm living in the 21st century. It's pretty cool, it's right? We can replace alive. teeth now. And it seems I have your catabasis to thank for it. Catabasis? I don't know what that word is, but... What are you I'm doing? I'm a consultant to the Faculty of Classics at Cambridge University, helping fill the odd gap in their knowledge. You know what? That's actually Not pretty that cool. Money, but 
minds. I do love being around enlightened minds again. Do people, you were alone for a long time. It's My good to see you again. Yeah. Once again. You're wearing the bow tie well, buddy. Although I like the toga. I'm not going to judge. Hey, everybody. Hello. Hey, what's up? Greetings. You must be the legendary oracle. This is the funnest it thing. It's a sincere privilege to finally make your acquaintance. Hey. I am Georgius. Yeah, you got your Euro trash jacket on really nice, fast. I'm told we have you to thank for freeing us from I like Georgius. And for that. And Euro trash is kind of a compliment great. for me because I kind of like that look. What are you doing with yourself? I'm reacquainting myself with Greece. It has changed so much over the last 2,000 years, I barely recognize it. I know, it's this in pieces. The economy's not great. Feeling. Yeah. Perhaps one day, once I have seen all of this new Greece and sampled her delights, I will settle down in Sandorini in a <laughs> villa Craig. overlooking the Azure GNC. I hope you will join me there and regale me with the story. Dude, of I love friends with mansions. I'm in the, I'm there. The world and one. Yeah, we could do it. Consider me there, man. Yeah, yeah bye bye. Yeah. Hey, what's up? Fabia! You're the one we've been waiting for. Yeah, what's up? I'm Fabia. Hey, Fabia. You... Highlights? I wanted to say thanks for sending Galerius to save my life. Mm, yeah. I don't know how you knew, but I would have been crushed by that shrine for sure. Yeah, I would have been bad. You're welcome. It's cool. I'm just so happy to be here with you. Some big... Together <laughs> again. You got a real Miss Flintstone look going on there. What do you do with yourself these days? Not like I have to work with all the silver Karen gave me. So, I <laughs> yabba dabba dabba. Mostly that means baking for my friends and looking at memes while binging. Oh, TV she loves memes. Japan. Yeah, you'd look that type. What yeah. a time to be alive. I love memes. You see the cat who's been playing on the keyboard? I'm glad you're happy. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Bye. <laughs> yeah, you're boring. Okay. So we got them. What's this Sounds guy? Hey. Keep off the furniture, Decius. Oh, Ew! Man. You must be the oracle I've heard so much about. I'm Decius. Ugh. You look so appropriate. Listen, I wanted to express my sincere appreciation for what you did. If it wasn't for you, I'd never been able to sell all those useless old relics I accumulated. I'm glad to help. Whatever you did in that temple made me a very wealthy man. Ew, and I'm sure you're helping Thank people you. with that money. You're welcome. Most gracious of you. Oh God, you're the worst. What are you doing? I took Besides... the money I made from selling my trinkets and started investing in the stock market. Oh, he's a crypto That's guy, you know it. Money is now. In fact, I was hoping to ask your advice. You being the oracle and future seer and all that, on which stocks I should invest in now. Oh yeah, I'll tell you. Between fossil fuels, tobacco, gambling, and arms. Oh God. What would you recommend? I wouldn't help you even if I could. You dick. Oh, don't be like that. You can tell your old pal Dacius. I won't take no for an answer. Shut up. Um. <laughs> print media is going to make a huge oh, comeback. Gosh, yeah, I was just thinking the same thing. I'll go home and buy up as much stock as I can tonight. I'm going to make a bloody fault. Okay, I'll be going now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay. Uh, who's over here? Good Ooh. evening. Livia. Greetings. You cleaned up good, lady. Good to Thank see you. Thank you for your kind words and... For liberating us all. In all the time I was in the underworld, I never once imagined that I might end up in a place Hello there. so much like Elysium. I know, we have really, really soft towels. What you doing? I'm recovering. Octavia was kind enough to let me stay with her for a while. At least until I'm well enough to be independent again. That's nice, yeah. You have some issues, so. Ah, you remember that. I'm the best in Blockbuster. I should have told him. But that's all right. I have 2,000 years worth of poetry to catch up on. There's now. some good stuff nowadays, I'm yeah. I'm already up to the 19th century and am quite enjoying the work of a fellow named Poe. Mm -hmm. I think I may have found a kindred spirit. Pretty hot. Yeah. Men have called me oh, mad. But the question is not yet settled whether madness is or is not the loftiest intelligence. Mm. Okay, great. That's great. Uh, we don't and need to talk you. about this anymore. Thank you. Bye, Livia. Hey! Oh, hello. It's lovely to meet you. I've heard so much about you. I don't you. remember her. Nice I'm to see Oh, Octavia, yeah! I was sure the person who drove off the last pagan god would have more important things to do than visit the likes of us. Are you a televangelist but now? Thank you. For coming and for saving our lives. Yeah, I did that. What you did was extraordinary, and I'll never forget it. Okay. 
What are you doing to yourself, I'm living bud? in Rome again, in a charming little flat by the Tiber. I'm not far from my old place. Oh, and I'm training to be a crisis counselor. Oh, that's pretty I'll nice. Do okay. I to persuade Ulpius not to take his own life. I was inspired. That's I just really want wonderful. To spend the rest of my life helping people, like you helped him. You're pretty awesome. That's pretty good. Thank good you. on you, Octavia. You actually weren't that the a-hole that I thought you were. Okay, bye. Okay. Oh God, look at this. He broke the. Ugh! Somebody call somebody! Who's this? Oh! <gasps> oh yes! It is an honor to finally meet you, Ola. Dude, how you like it? You, you look good in that jacket! Oh, yeah, I know you. You are an oracle. You know many things. I too would like to offer my thanks for releasing us from that place and for your role in bringing us here. Yeah, I'm pretty great. This world is truly wondrous. Yeah, okay. What are you doing? For a time, I returned to Alexandria, but they have no need of another fisherman. Yeah, it's and not I really came to a growth area for you. There is nothing for me there. Oh, okay. Instead, I have decided to follow the custom of your youths and backpack the world. Okay, it Kabash. Is a great adventure. Respect. And I have met many people. Did you kill anybody? Cultures. It's I pretty great. I spent the first 25 years of my life avoiding the 42 sins that would deny me access to the afterlife. Now, I think it is time I had some fun. Have you tried meth? It's great. With the X and some other things that people gave me to eat, like shrooms. It's great. I'm doing it all. You want to come kill someone with me? Indeed. Okay. It's I good to see you. you. You have fun breaking all those rules. Okay. Oh, we got four more people here. Oh, hey. Yeah. Hey, Scintilla! I go by Gabriella now. I didn't want to be reminded of that monster sorry. every time I heard my own name. Okay, After sorry. After drove Pluto off, Proserpina came and released me. And that monster got what was coming to I heard. Him. It was pretty good. Uh, Don't it's... worry. Nobody did. Yeah, sorry. I did actually know, and then I kind of went to the loop. But uh, what are you I'm doing? I'm living with Ulpius on a little vineyard in Umbria. Everybody loves it's Umbria. More wonderful than I dreamed it would be. Yeah, this I'm nice so to have. I'm so grateful to you for making oh, sure he's still with okay. us. Okay. If you're ever passing through the region, I hope you'll come and visit us. Listen. You can try some of our very own wine. I'd love that. I love that. I'll do it. Okay, Thanks. bye. And Ulpius, huh? Hi. Hey! Saved you so many times! It's nice to finally put a face to the name. Okay, well... I'm Opius. It's, we killed I our dad, it's great. I have you to thank for sending Galerius to save my life. It's true. You just have you heard? Out of the blue and stopped me from making have you had your thyroid mistake. issue looked at? Because the I eye situation... Be forever in your debt. Okay. Well, what are I'm you doing yourself? Gabriella in Umbria. It's nice. We finally bought the little vineyard we always dreamed of. That's good. It'll be a little while before we know what we're doing, but every day I look at her and this extraordinary new world it's with all good, its yeah. beauty and I think, what if I'd given up hope? Missed out on all of this. It's true. So we're living each day to the fullest. That's wonderful. And 20 times we've lived your life, yeah. Sitting together on our terrace with a glass of our wine. Which the locals say is almost drinkable now. <laughs> it's great. And watching the sunset over the rolling hillside. All right, you're and you. I, I want to retire with you, Alpheus. That you sounds wonderful. Thank I'm glad you. you're happy. Yeah, you need to look. Get your yes. eyes looked at. Okay. All right, and then we've got our sec. Our two last people. Hey. Hey, sexy. It's so nice to finally meet you. Oh, you little so German munchkin. You. Good to I see you. To thank you personally for getting us out of there. Oh yeah. And for helping Rufus come to terms with himself. He may come off a little gruff, but once you Are they a couple there, now? He's a lovely fellow. Oh, I I'm love it. To be an architect again and living with Rufus in our beautiful flat in Rotterdam, just down the river from Nijmegen, where I grew up. Of course, it's Oh my gosh, they're so hot. Rest. What a hot little couple. Realistic buildings and clean streets. Full of educated, accepting people. Yeah. You natives of the 21st century have no idea how fortunate you are. It's true. You oh. too. I would love to go on the Netherlands. I'm going to backpack with Curdy and just... Hey, sexy. Nice to meet you. Yeah, tell me about your... Yeah. I go by Rufus now. You start your name. He is pretty hot. So he's Dutch, yeah. Thanks, by the way. Yeah. For what you did. 
Sorry, I'm... He's so Dutch. ...with the mushy stuff. It's cool. What do you do with yourselves today? I live with Virgil in Rotterdam. Not far from where he grew up. It's very nice, yeah. It's very... Modern. I'm so glad they're a couple. Stories it's just cute. And it rebuilt itself. I mean, listen. Start. Everybody's got a thyroid issue here. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with my life yet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One adjustment at a time. J buddy, it's cool. You got a, a hot lover and you're living in uh, a really cool city. Huh. Good to know. Yeah. Anyway. Was good practice for the new world. Security they all have very firm shoulder lines as well. You're right. Yeah. Everywhere. Got to stay vigilant. Yeah. Okay. It's uh. It is true. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. It's good to see. You you. Okay. All right. This is so fun. Okay. I think we're done. Wait. There was something at the end I wanted to see here. Hello. Good there. evening. I said hi to everybody. I believe. Hey. Oh. Hello. It's you. What is this thing here? What is this? Um, okay, so I gotta go out the front. This is it! Where is Presipina? Yeah, you're right, where is she? Oh, hello. Hey, Dooley. Hey. Have hello. fun with your TV. Good evening. I love it, I love how Good everybody evening. makes sense that what they do with their lives. Let's see, nobody over here. Nobody over here. There's one person there. Who is it? Oh! <gasps> Oh, it's Al. Where's Persepina? I hope you enjoyed that. I did. Now, there's one more person hey, the I real to introduce you to. I think you know her. Is it Persepina? I do. <laughs> Sorry if I frightened you. Just a little joke I've been saving for a long, long time. Ooh, I recognize that voice. Allow me to introduce myself properly. I am Persepina. Persepina, former goddess of the cycle of life and renewal, and now a regular mortal. I, I wanted it. to meet you in person, and thank you for freeing all these people, and me. No problem. I hate to think what would have happened to us without your intervention. It would have been really boring, yeah. You were whispering to me Indeed. all night. Suffice it to say that while Pluto was controlling the eyes and ears of each golden statue, I was able to control their tongues, and whisper to you when he was distracted. I like that. I like I the technicality. I am sorry messages were so cryptic. There were only ever brief windows in which I could speak to you without being detected. Yeah. You did what you could. It was fine. I mean, it wasn't that helpful, but it was fine. I did. I may have given up my immortality, but I still retain my gifts as the goddess of the cycle of life and renewal. Could you make my boots go Pluto up a little bit more? <laughs> countless poor souls over thousands of years. I knew this generation, the final wave, would not survive. Mm. So I tried to give them a way to buy more time. A second chance. Rather as many second chances as they needed to avoid his wrath. Yeah. Um, what became I of him? I don't know what happened to him. I haven't heard from him. And I rather hope it stays that way. It's good. When you break up, you don't want to talk anymore. You know what I'm saying? Oh, she inherited dominion over the underworld. Last time we spoke, she was working on a new world of some kind. Ooh. She wouldn't say what it was. But I'd be surprised if you don't run into her again. I imagine we all will. That's Monday. exciting. Okay. It was just nice meeting you. What are you doing with your time? You look rich. And you. It's nice to be rich for however time like you're living in. Forever. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and one last thing. Do you remember all those golden statues scattered throughout the city? Yeah. Yeah. Of course Good. I do. Because they remember you. Well done, my friend. Of Yay! Of all the heroes who ever journeyed to the underworld in return, none came close to achieving what you did. What about the ones that other woman peeled off? Oh, like, what happened to her? Peeling woman. Yay! Um, question, you guys. What happened to the woman who peeled the skin off of everybody? And what happened to the people who got peeled? Thank you, Neely. I had such a great idea. I mean, it was just such a good time. All right. Yay! That was pretty great. That was a great story. I'm so happy. But what happened to the peeled woman? <sighs> okay, let me let me look it up. Let's look it up, y'all. Okay, what was that woman's name? Forbidden City Palace. 
game. Forbidden City, or Forgotten City, sorry. It's Forgotten City Palace game. Um, Navia, Navia. Okay, so it's Navia. Do we see her? Could this be Navia and Galatea? Oh! Here it is, the spoiler. Okay, 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 y'all. Um, I'm gonna look at the entire discussion. Somebody's saying that Dev confirms that Nivea and Galatea are in, Nivea and Galatea are both in the museum. They are standing in the crowd amongst the ex-golden statues. Look at that. And she's wearing, uh, Galatea is wearing a golden dress. And they're standing next to each other, which feels a little strange, but okay. I mean, she was not a good person. All right. She may have been down. Yeah. Okay, you guys. Well, I have to tell you, super impressed with everything that happened there. All of the voice acting was so incredible. I just, I can't even tell you. Such a cool game. Well, I'm really glad that we actually finished it. And so uh, let's see if there's anybody that we should, I played a little bit longer than I thought, but hey, why don't we just actually finish something for once? That's what I'm thinking. Um, let's raid somebody just for funsies. And I will be um, streaming Sunday. So no streams Wednesday or Friday. Um, streaming Sunday night with some of the guild if they're available. If not, we'll be doing some Fortnite with mods. And, uh, but I will be streaming Sunday night no matter what. And what else? Mm, oh, tomorrow night is the Geeks Hangout. My brother and I will be chatting for an hour over on the Discord. And if you want to know any more updates, go to the Discord and the announcement channel. I always announce stuff there. Sign up for the text message updates for anything new. I always kind of text an hour before I do anything cool. And um, I want everybody to have a wonderful holiday. I'm so looking forward to Christmas only because I bought my kids some really fun things. I cannot wait to see her do it. I hope that you are able to celebrate with people you love um, safely. It's been a very, it's, it's, a, it's a little bit strange now. Um, and just do something that feels safe to you, but also connect with people around the holiday because we really need some time. Um, I evidently follow someone, oh, R Dripping Honey. So I, I follow her and she's got four people watching. So Dripping Honey. Peace out, bitches. I follow her, so she must be cool. And she's playing Boyfriend Dungeon. So we'll see how she does that. Thank you so much. I'll see you either tomorrow, tomorrow night on the Discord or Sunday night. And happy, happy, happy holidays. All right. Bye, everybody. Peace out, bitches.